creating the perfect jailbroken iPhone, Jeff style. Number one, you need Asphalia 2. This allows you to lock down your device, secure it with Touch ID or with the passcode. You can secure individual apps or all apps in one fell swoop. And there are other options as well. Advanced security, you can shut down things like app arranging, slide the power off, etc. You can really secure your device with Asphalia 2. Next up is Virtual Home 8. I love this tweak because it allows you to unlock your device without even waking it, just like that. You see how quick that is? Quick as unlocking the West, baby. You just tap and it wakes up just like that. That is really cool. Now, of course, it's called Virtual Home 8, so it actually simulates the home button press. So that means you can do really cool things like this. Just tap on the uh, Touch ID sensor, go back to your home screen, tap and hold, open up multitasking. You don't actually have to press the home button. Next up is swipe selection. You guys know this by now. It allows you to conveniently move your cursor around just by swiping on your keyboard like that. But not only this, it can also allow you to select text by swiping from the shift key like that or from the delete key like this. It really is handy, instrumental for the perfect jailbroken iPhone. Next up, 3G Unrestrictor. Don't you hate it when you get messages like this? Well, with 3G Unrestrictor 5, you don't have to worry about that. You can still download apps while you're on LTE or 4G. Uh, even if they're over 100 megabytes, it doesn't matter. You can see Real Racing 3, which is over a gig, is downloading on LTE. Next up, Safari Downloader Plus. This is an awesome tweak. It allows you to download anything via Safari, and I literally mean anything. You can see I'm downloading the Windows 10 ISO file, which is well over two or three gigs uh, directly via Safari. And then I can manage that download just by tapping the download button. You can see it there. Progress is happening on LTE, folks. Super nice. iFile is great for managing those downloads. It's also great for installing dev files. So if someone or a developer sends you a dev file, you can pretty much install it instantly just by tapping on it. So you don't have to enter any terminal commands or anything like that. Not only this, but you can manage file attributes. You can swipe to delete a file if you want to, just like that. You can also copy and paste. There's just so much you can do. It's basically like the finder for the iPhone. Polis is another tweak that is instrumental for the perfect jailbroken iPhone. It allows you to configure your control center with all sorts of options. You can add app shortcuts, toggle shortcuts, create your own for that matter. So if you wanna create your own custom button with activator actions, you can do that and you can see I have a highly customized control center right there. Now swipe for more is absolutely necessary for the perfect jailbroken iPhone. If you download lots of Cydia tweaks, this allows you to continuously queue up Cydia tweaks right from the changes tab. You don't have to go into each individual tweak. This makes downloading, uninstalling, reinstalling, everything so much faster on Cydia. It is absolutely necessary for those of you who like to download lots of Cydia tweaks. Speaking of downloading lots of Cydia tweaks, C-Sources 2 is absolutely great for those of you who have lots of third-party repos. So you saw there, I didn't have hardly any repos. In fact, they were all stock, but there's more than meets the eye here. I actually have tons of repos. C-Sources 2 allows you to individually enable or disable repos on the fly like this. And watch what happens, folks. what I tell you? More than meets the eye there. I have tons of repos they just weren't enabled. Thanks to C-Sources 2, I have them all back in just a few seconds. And last but not least is Android Solid. This is actually a theme, the only theme on this list, but I just really, really love this. It gives you the solid Android L inspired signal meters for your Wi-Fi and for your cellular signal. So that has been a combination of 10 different Cydia releases that comprise the perfect jailbroken iPhone, if you ask me. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.